Introducing the new Philips Microdose SI with single shot spectral imaging, a full field digital mammography solution that brings the potential of non invasive spectral imaging to clinical practice. Like existing microdose systems, it uses direct digital photon counting technology. This unique technology has created a paradigm shift in mammography, allowing high dose efficiency that makes it possible to conduct exams with low radiation dose without compromising image quality. Now, Microdose SI adds new innovation to its impressive technology. Microdose SI provides spectral imaging of the breast within the standard low-dose mammogram and without use of contrast media. But while the procedure is the same, the spectral images provide new opportunities for measurement and analysis of breast composition. Spectral imaging is based on a basic principle. An X-ray beam is made of photons with different energies. During a mammography exam, different tissue types and materials within the breast absorb X-ray at different energies. Unlike standard mammography, which essentially shows a shadow of the breast, spectral imaging uses the spectrum of the X-ray beam to analyze what we see in the mammogram. With the Microdose SI, we use single-shot spectral imaging. This refers to the ability of the microdose detector to count each photon from a single exposure, or single shot, and separate those photons into high-energy and low-energy categories. The first application based on single-shot spectral technology is spectral breast density measurement. It is the first spectral breast density tool that actually measures breast density, rather than estimating. Spectral imaging makes it possible to differentiate between adipose and fibroglandular tissue, which is the key to measuring volumetric breast density from a mammogram. In each pixel of the image, the distribution of high and low energy X-ray photons is known and correlates to a specific glandularity and thickness. Because it independently measures both glandularity and thickness, Without relying on estimations based on compressed thickness, Microdose SI automatically calculates the total volume and volumetric percentage of glandular tissue. Once that is calculated, Microdose SI assigns the image with a density score that correlates to BIRAD's breast composition score. The breast density data is stored in the DICOM header is available as a DICOM structured report and is displayed in the image. Microdose SI can provide a measurement of the volume of glandular tissue in the breast with high accuracy. In fact, phantom studies of spectral breast density measurement indicate that it can measure breast density with an error of less than 2%. The automatic correlation to BIRAD's breast composition score provides objective scoring of the images and may save time in reporting for the radiologist. This objective and accurate breast density measurement paves the way for refined risk assessment and personalized care. Let's now hear how clinicians could benefit from this new solution. Alors, la densité mammaire est un facteur de risque reconnu de cancer du sein. Ça fait longtemps qu'on essaye de trouver quelque chose d'objectif pour analyser la densité mammaire, de la caractériser en catégorie, et puis éventuellement, en fonction des catégories, d'adjoindre un autre examen pour ne pas rater un cancer dans ce type de situation. Si on avait une manière objective d'apprécier le volume glandulaire et sa densité, je pense que ça devrait déboucher sur des nouvelles guidelines. En tout cas, en interne, chez nous, c'est ce qu'on ferait. Donc avec la méthode spectrale qui serait objective et précise, on pourra certainement mieux classifier la densité des seins et les études démontreraient peut-être que le type 4, le type 3 a un risque différent ou égal à voir.